our life. Good morning. Uh, we have your morning announcements. First of all, teachers, you have four opportunities to attend a very important staff meeting today. Uh, the first two during come during your lunch times. Uh, between 11.20 and 11.25, we'll get started with option A. And then for those that have second lunch, the next one will get started uh, about 12, between 12.20 and 12.25. I have kind of a long list of items. They're all important. Most of them are pretty short, though. But it may take us close to half an hour. Uh, so if you want to come to one of those two during your lunch time, feel free to bring your lunch. We'll be in room 128. Uh, we're not serving lunch. We do have some uh, waters on ice uh, to help with your beverage. But uh, if you can't make either of those, uh, then there's a, fourth, a third choice at 210. Uh, and then a last choice after school at 310. If you choose that one, come as quickly as you can because Mosho needs us to get out of here. Uh, and I need to get over to Jefferson to see Babachi perform at 4. So we're going to try and roll that one right at right at 310. Uh, we're going to have a sign-in uh, sheet, so be sure you sign in as you come in. As I say, very important, about 30-minute staff meeting. This is for all teachers, and I don't believe there are items on it that are essential for associates, but of course, you're always welcome to attend. That's item one. Here's item number two. We're moving along. Here we have uh, 158 students now signed up. As I've been telling you, I think it'll wind up between 450 and 500 students. Last year was 473. We have a few more AP students this year, so I doubt that will go down. So we're probably about a third of the way on students. We have 327 tests. We've got all the way over here now. Uh, 327 tests signed up for. So we're close to a third of the way there, too. Remember, our goal is 1,000. Last year, we gave 1,015. The year before that, 1,005. So it would be nice to creep a little above 1,015, but I'll call it a win if we're anywhere at 1,000 or over. Next week will be a big week. Uh, we don't want it all to happen on Friday. If you're going home for lunch and uh, you know where that form is laying in the, in the family kitchen, uh, bring it back with you. Or if you have it with you and haven't turned it in, do that. Let's get as many as we can yet this afternoon. You can even come back after school really, really fast because we will be there until about 3.40 and 1.28. Mr. Johnson would take your money at that time. So, Otherwise, five more days next week to really ratchet it up. Birthday. Oh, one thing about AP tests. A couple of freshmen have said, how am I going to get there? I'm not going to be able to get a ride. We'll help with that. Uh, when you uh, just let me know that, send me an email or tell Mrs. Johnson at 128, the student center that, or write, a, attach a note to your sign-up form. We're not going to make getting there an obstacle. We will figure that out. But you have to let us know if you need help getting there. Birthdays today, Gage Dye, Cole Malcolm, Eli Nesmith, Devin Ryan, Jesse Vega, and Kai Voorhees all have birthdays today. And birthdays over the weekend include Adriana Clark, Elizabeth Gibson, Augie Bergstrom, and Taylor Luke. Lunch today, chicken Caesar pasta salad with French bread, or out in the hall, walking tacos with a corn muffin, or over along the wall, the increasingly popular fish wedge sandwich on a bun, or in the traditional pizza line, there will be some variety of pizza there, I'm sure. Uh, Mo show is tomorrow. It's the busiest day of the entire school year at Washington High School. Uh, so much going on. It starts at 8. The setup starts long before that, but the actual first performance is at 8. Ends about 10.30. Admission is $12. It's a fundraiser. It's a pricey deal. Uh, slice of Jazz at 9.30. Havache at 4.20. Mo at 5.05 and Selly at 10.05. Golf season begins on Monday, sign up in the activities office. Girls tennis uniform order forms are now available in the activities office. And in all this talk about Mo Show, let's not forget our speech students, our individual speech competitors will be at State tomorrow at North Scott all day. We wish good luck to all of them. And uh, later in the weekend, the bowling banquet takes place too. Upcoming college visits left for uh, this week at 12.50, Mount Mercy University. Uh, we'll be in uh, the counseling office and Luther next Tuesday. Another popular choice for wash kids at 1 o'clock in the counseling office. That's Luther College next Tuesday. And a walk through home room to pick up your final grade reports for the winter trimester today at 12.55. After period 6 or lunch, whichever ends period 6 for you, walk through your home room and pick that up, please. All home teachers, please be available to hand those out. So period 6 will start 5 minutes late today at 1.05 and mock trial today after school at 1.11. Getting prepared for your big competition next week and that does it for me. Harrison, you're up.
Okay, well, uh, we're having an improv show next Thursday, that's March 20th. It will be at 6 o'clock in the Little Theater, so I hope to see you all there. Also, anybody involved in FDIC, we will be meeting today after school and Monday after school. I'll tell you where we're going to meet uh, later today. I'll give you a text. Thanks. And next Tuesday is our, uh, our big final academic assembly. This is the assembly where we don't have any t-shirts. We just honor all our teams, 25 different teams or groups, all the way from the surveyor staff uh, to the Brain Bee team, all those groups that work so hard all year long for our school, SAD, uh, Kiva, Yearbook, 25 of them. IJAG will all be honored. Uh, they've got a fast-moving uh, event on Tuesday starting at 9.45, and you get to see momentum. Uh, run their whole act, our top show choir. That in itself makes it worth it. And it was a minor of it because you'll see Harrison Schaefer, who is just on, uh, in a speech number also called the Pajana Game. So, big, big event on Tuesday. Uh, thanks for your attention to these Friday morning announcements.